Welcome back to Coding Commanders. I'm Commander Candy, and today I'm going to show you how to build a virtual server using Oracle Virtual Box and Ubuntu Server. Step 1. Create a brand new virtual image. To download Oracle Virtual Box, go to Google and type download Oracle Virtual Box. Or you can check out the video description where I do have a link to this download page. We're going to start off, we're going to click on new to create our new image. We're going to name our image. I'm going to name mine, my lamp server. Name your server something descriptive about what you plan on putting on it. For type, we're going to select Linux. And for version, we will select Ubuntu 64-bit. Then click next. Basically, I'm just going to click through the settings, selecting whatever is already recommended to me. Step 2. Install Ubuntu Server. In order to download Ubuntu Server, you can go ahead and Google Download Ubuntu Server, or you can check out in the video description, I will link the Ubuntu download page. We are going to download Ubuntu Server 18.04.3 LTS. Then I'm going to make sure that my new virtual image is highlighted. Click Start. Click on the little folder icon and find my Ubuntu Server download. Mine is saved under Downloads. Now I'm going to scale it to make my virtual box bigger so it's easier to read. I'm going to select English because I speak English. It already automatically detected my keyboard, English American. And basically, again, I'm just clicking through the settings for the most part. Done. Done. Use entire disk. Done. Done. Yes, I'm sure I would like to continue. For my name, I'm going to put Commander Candy. For my server's name, I'm going to say lamp-queen, pick a user, I'm going to make my username commander, and then I'm going to select a password, repeat it to confirm my password. I'm going to go ahead and let it install OpenSSH for me. I don't like to install pre-built environments. I find that it's a lot less trouble if you just build your own environment. Then when something goes wrong, you know what individual piece of software you have the problem with. Done. Now we just wait for it to install. Now you're ready to go to codingcommanders.com slash Linux and install and use even more software on your virtual box. Now if there's something you would like to install or use on your virtual server that I don't have a tutorial on, make sure to comment below and let me know so I can make one for you. Thank you for watching my video, and until next time, happy coding.